But Ron DeSantis making it clear his battle with Disney is far from over. The governor vowing that lawmakers will nullify Disney's last minute moves to hold on to its governing powers in the now dissolved Reedy Creek Improvement District. News Channel 8 Stacy De Silva joins us live outside Walt Disney World with the latest twist in this ongoing battle. Stacy. Jen and Keith, the governor came here today to the Reedy Creek Administration building that's just down this street on Disney property to say this is not over. <laughs> governor Ron DeSantis is back in the ring with Mickey Mouse. We want to make sure uh, that, that Disney lives under the same laws as everybody else. A special taxing district known as Reedy Creek had been operating the property in and around Walt Disney World since its creation. After Disney came out against the parental rights and education bill, known by critics as the Don't Say Gay bill, the legislature passed a law to hand over control of Reedy Creek to the state. Just before the governor appointed board took over, Disney made a deal with outgoing board members to give the company most of its governing powers. Disney did basically special deals to circumvent that whole process. Governor DeSantis says a new bill will be filed next week to nullify that deal. And another bill is in the works that would remove ride safety inspection exemptions for theme parks in, quote, special districts. Once the state board took over, uh, we began mobilizing state agencies to ensure that Disney's following the same rules, building inspection, safety, all these other things. Democrat Anna Escamani represents parts of Orange County. The uh, policies that DeSantis are proposing are punitive in nature and targeting one specific corporation for expressing their First Amendment rights. A Disney spokesperson tells News Channel 8, quote, all agreements signed between Disney and the district were appropriate and were discussed and approved in open, noticed public forums in compliance with Florida's government in the Sunshine Law, end quote. Disney CEO Bob Iger has called the actions by the governor and legislature anti-business and anti-Florida. Again, the governor says we should see a bill to nullify Disney's Reedy Creek deal next week. And on Wednesday of this week, the newly appointed board meets and is expected to discuss ways to revoke that deal on its own. Coming up at 6, what the governor also said about toll roads and taxes in and around Disney. Reporting live in Lake Buena Vista, I'm Stacey DeSilva, 8 on your side.